Now, I first found out about Yellow Dog actually at a, uh, a coffee convention they do every year in Norman, or every, that I know of every year. Last year there was a Leap, and then there were like, you know, there, this year there was a, a place called, um, I believe, um, Trek, and they're, they were really solid. Um, I had, I think, an uh, Ethiopian from them. And then um, Yellow Dog was there the first year, and that's how I found out about them. Uh, this year, they um, they had a stand. Still, even with like one or two new places that weren't there the year before, Yellow Dog was still the best. Uh, I think they are, as of now, the only roaster in Norman. There's other coffee places in Norman, but they get their uh, beans from somewhere else. Yellow Dog, yep, solid roaster. Really nice shop too. It looks kind of like an old, uh, I don't know, like 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 an old diner kind of. It's got these long, sort of rectangular glass panels on the outside. Like you'd miss it if you drove by. And they're right next to a Highland milk factory, which is very interesting. There, the last time they had the uh, Tanzania pea berry, and I said, let me try that roast whole bean since I've had it before from a different roaster. And uh, I'm really glad I picked it up because this is fantastic. Well, one thing you'll notice right away is that these coffee beans are a lot smaller than your standard one. Other than roast difference, you'll notice that how much it's dwarfed by this other standard bean. This is um, what I would refer to as a legitimately uh, distinct coffee. I think it has uh, quite a bit of depth and um, I don't know, just like a very big punch of uh, flavor naturally. This can be enhanced by milk um, and you know, probably maybe even a little bit of sugar. But even without that, even if you're not a black coffee drinker, I would suggest trying this black just to see, you know, the merits of just how naturally um, up front these flavor notes can be. It's like a mouthful, a mouthful of just straight up berry flavor, but it's not like uh, super tart. Um, yeah, it's not, not as overwhelming as like, say like an Ethiopian um, or like a, a, a Rwandan where it's, uh, some of those flavors can be extremely tart. It's got very good body. I taste a little bit of like um, maybe nuts, sort of. It starts out smooth and then you taste the berries, but the berries are not an acidic taste necessarily. Smooth palate in comparison to some of those brighter ones. What they describe are blackberries, stone fruit, and tart cherry. Well, like I said, it's not very tart, but I do, I can taste some cherry in it. I can taste a little bit of what they're describing as blackberry. I don't really know what stone fruit tastes like still. Um, I'm doing a bad job of my homework because there's other coffees I've had which have described uh, stone fruit as a flavor note on this show, I think. All around, this is a superb coffee. I think that um, if you're gonna try to give uh, tan Tanzania pea, pea berry a try, um, this is really good, or um, there's another one I had from Volcanica Coffee. I was gonna review that on this show, but unfortunately, I got it from Amazon, which was probably the first strike I should have thought about instead of ordering it off their website. They gave me these coffee beans pre-ground, folks. Yes, pre-ground. Um, the You know, it still tasted really good. It was still a very distinct flavor. Uh, maybe they had been freshly roasted. I don't know. There was no roast on date, like a lot of stuff you get from Amazon is you don't know if it's been sitting in a damn uh, warehouse shelf, you know, dormant for years. You know, I, I still kind of got that, um, that the same, the same sort of flavor profile. So I, I enjoy that this is such a distinct bean that um, no matter who the roaster is, it still seems to have those characteristics. Oh man. So I smell, they smell kind of bourbony. Um, they don't taste bourbon -y, but they smell that way. And then I taste some of that fruitiness in the beans as well. This is going to be a 10 out of 10 bean because 
It's got such a distinctive flavor note that's actually delicious. It's inviting. It's not too, like I said, it's not too bitter. It's exotic enough to keep my interest, you know, and not just be your standard, you know, chocolate nuts, you know, burnt flavor or something like that. You can, I mean, you can, you taste it and immediately it's different from like a Colombian or a Mex Mexico Chiapas or like uh, an Ethiopian even, which are also fruity. This is its own thing. I mean, it's great. So 10 out of 10. Uh, thank you guys. And I guess I'll see you next time I see you. Thanks for watching the Java Hour.